The spiked helmet sign is a distinctive electrocardiographic pattern that appears as a dome and spike morphology resembling the historical German military Pickelhelbe helmet. This sign manifests as an upward shift of the baseline beginning before the QRS complex, creating pseudo-ST segment elevation rather than true ST elevation. It is important to note that this pattern is not caused by ST elevation myocardial infarction, despite its similar appearance. Myocardial infarction can be ruled out through normal cardiac biomarkers and the absence of wall motion abnormalities on echocardiography. This ECG finding is observed in critically ill patients, particularly in intensive care unit or emergency settings. The spiked helmet sign is associated with various conditions including sepsis, intracranial hemorrhage such as subarachnoid hemorrhage, post-cardiac arrest states, severe respiratory failure, acute abdominal conditions like bowel perforation or gastric distension, increased intrathoracic or intra-abdominal pressure, anoxic brain injury, and major trauma. The exact mechanism behind this sign remains uncertain, with several hypotheses proposed. These include pulsatile diaphragmatic contractions synchronized with the cardiac cycle, possibly due to irritation or neurological dysfunction. Repetitive epidermal stretch from rapid changes in intrathoracic or intra-abdominal pressure, particularly in mechanically ventilated patients. Adrenergetically mediated prolongation of repolarization, potentially linking the sign to conditions causing long QT and T wave alternance. And some evidence suggesting it may result from giant TU waves from the preceding beat superimposed on the QRS complex, especially in hyperadrenergic states. The presence of the spiked helmet sign carries a very poor prognosis, with strong association to high in hospital mortality. In the original case series, 6 out of 8 patients, 75%, died within 1 to 10 days after the sign appeared. It is considered a marker of impending death rather than a direct cause, reflecting the severity of the underlying non-cardiac illness. The clinical pearl is to never interpret this sign as acute myocardial infarction. Instead, one must always assess for non-cardiac critical illness, particularly neurological, abdominal, or respiratory pathology. Recognizing this sign can redirect clinical focus to life-threatening underlying conditions, rather than unnecessary cardiac interventions. Treatment involves addressing the root cause through gastric decompression, ventilator adjustment, sepsis management, or neurocritical care. In many cases, the ECG changes resolve once the underlying condition is properly treated.